It is a great honor for me to be here participating at the 21st session of the CC Asia. In this special occasion, as my fellow Vice Chair Steve mentioned, we are here to be close to all members to offer support if it's necessary. I would like to use this special opportunity to highlight the importance of the 21st session of the FAO WHO Coordinating Committee for Asia. In particular, I would like to underline the importance of the word coordinating. Yeah. From the dictionary, I learned that coordinating means bringing different elements of something complex into harmonious and efficient relationship. This is a very important one. And this coordinating forum is even more important, not only for ASEAN region, but also for global in terms of better and safer global food supply. As we know, the world increasingly depends on global food supply to source food and agricultural products now. And Asia region has a major role to play in this global supply food chain. One study estimated that Asia region contributing for about 19% of the total global food and agricultural export and 31% of the total food and agricultural product import. CODEX has worked developing and encouraging implementation of harmonized international standard code of practices and guidelines covering all aspects of food safety and quality, including handling distribution of food along the food chain. And this includes many varieties of food and agricultural products exported and also imported by ASEAN country. Consequently, many CODEX standards are immense important to Asia. In addition to strengthening respective national food control regulatory framework, developing regional collaboration and coordination to enhance active participation of Asia in CODEX is also very important. Active participation is an important component to ensure that the standards adopted by the CODEX are truly applicable and relevant for the region, and also to ensure that no one, including small farmer, and small medium enterprises in the region will be left behind. Considering that there are many similarities of wood and agriculture products produced in the, in the region, in the Asia region, then establishing a coordinating forum to address shared concern and interest is a very logical way forward. The importance of this coordinating forum becomes even more apparent, especially because food security food safety issue that arise increasingly involve more and more countries. Most of us are familiar with the form from farm to table approach to, man, to food safety management. With increasingly international trade, we should remember that the farm might be located in one country, while the table might be located at other country. Consequently, if we want to manage food safety globally, then joint effort involving many countries along the global food supply chain should be done. Example of such joint effort in this is the initiative taken by India, Bhutan, and Nepal. These three countries have jointly developed the successful Codex Trust Fund project, focusing on, among others, capacity building on Codex standard procedure and processes. This initiative, I believe, begins with the identification of common concern and interest, and then come up with a logical proposal to achieve a common goal of increasing the capacity to participate more actively and effectively in the CODEX system. I think we, ASEAN, should aim to have more of such initiative. Other innovative mechanisms of coordination should also be explored to ensure that the key issue for ASEAN unique for Asia are thoroughly discussed and considered in the Codex standard development process. Finally, I would like to wish all the delegation a successful session. And as stated before, Steve and I will be happy if our presence here can provide any support to all members. Thank you very much.